Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel again in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. If you've not been here before, welcome. This is a 16 by 20 inch pre-primed Michaels gallery, not gallery wrapped stretched. <laughs> it's a canvas. This is, uh, I'm a color art affiliate. This is Mayan Gold. And I'm just looking for background. Sometimes I get more than I bargained for and that's okay. I'm thinking golds and some turquoise this time, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'm not sure what colors I'm going to use, but I'm sure whatever I start with will work out as a background for the next stage, if there is one. That was Indian Spice pr uh, Prism Pour, Mayan Gold Prism Pour, Shiny Taffeta Prism Pour. I have some French silk somewhere here, right there. Another prism pour. I'm going to use a little bit of orange crush if it's open. Yay. No paint chips allowed. I want some periwinkle. I wish I'd ordered some more when I got my last box. It's an awesome color. I haven't used much Egyptian blue lately and I want to use it with my Chantilly lace which is right here. And I've got some red violet. Whoop! <laughs> yeah. Got some red violet right there. And I've got blue flame. Red violet is a vivid, intense fluorescent. Blue flame is a primary element. My colors will be listed under the video. This is Plum Blossom. This is another primary element. This is Sparkling Aqua. I want to use a color to, to swipe over, which is in this case going to be some No paint chips. Frostbite. And I've got some frosted berry for the same purpose. And if I have, if it seems like I have too much paint, I don't really think I do. I do wish my bottles had stopped closing up. Maybe I'd remember to put the caps on. This is Royal Sapphire. Before I get myself in too far over my head, I'm going to just start. If I pick up and put down paint, that's a plan. Oh, I've got something else. I've got some of the new Purely Pigments, and it's a um, Dancing Fuchsia and a little bit of holly berry. And it was a practice added to something that hadn't worked out that was a light, light color, so I just decided to go for it. And it's a gorgeous color. Like I said, just a background, possibly. I'm looking for indigo violet, which seems to be open, which is always a good thing. 
trailing a paint chip, not necessarily my favorite thing. What I was really looking for was the um, African Violet. And I'm surprised that I'm not seeing it because it's right here. I have a new color called Bobbing for Apples, which might substitute for that since I know it's open and the African Violet's not. I'm quiet because I'm focused. I'm sorry I forgot to speak. And I really want to put some marks in this with a mark making tool. Usually I start with some lighter colors. But I guess I did and I just went a little darker than I was ready for. I'm going to go ahead and grab the shiny taffeta. my sour lemon with orange crush in and I want to. Once you get past the fear factor it actually becomes pretty f a lot of fun. Now I'm thinking Jasmine. I know. Somebody said, you're always thinking Jasmine. Well, yeah, I am. It's true. And I like this periwinkle, which I just want to pull the top right off of. A little there. A little here. I'm thinking Mystique. Some frosted berry, Chantilly lace. See, so I want something lighter in the center. I haven't used a lot. I guess I have. <laughs> uh, Snapdragon. Helps if you open the bottles and pull a little tab off the top. And sometimes you got to pull the whole top off. This shouldn't be one of those times. It's not going a super strong color. I want to be a little careful of that. Plus I mix my primary elements quite strong also. I 
I do like cleaning off my spatula along the edge of the canvas. I like that mystique. Oh, I got a pattern in the center from laying my Chantilly lace down. crush over here. And a little bit more over there. Some right there. I don't usually add a whole lot of horizontal strokes in the center, but I'm liking the result. I don't know what that is. It's a paint chip. So let me put some black out and have some fun. Right after I finish scraping off my spatula on the naked edge. It doesn't just cover the edge, it adds some color too. I like that about it. Alright, I've got mead and black. And I might have used too much of it. I've got a cottage cheese lid that I chopped into and then folded the pieces back on either, si either side. And I'm going to dip both sides and it won't be very even looking. It might be kind of cool. And I've got other things. Other things being silicone spatula heads. I kind of want use the piece of tongue depressor that I've got here. I kind of want some white too. I haven't... I get nervous before I do stuff like this because my intention is not to try and get it done all at once and then it starts to look like it's coming together. I want a shorter piece of something. I think a little piece of card would do very well right about now. I like what happens when you use a card to manipulate the black. I'm always surprised how fast things come together. I like using the card to expose colors too, as you can see there. And then you can use the same paint, put it down. This reminds me of something I did a long time ago. Through the looking glass. Very cool. I have no idea how I make this happen. But I recommend if you can not think about it too much, you got a shot. <laughs> That's my opinion and I'm sticking with it. I 
It used to be I like to put a whole lot of marks and now it just seems like a few is enough. And I don't know what the difference is, but it is awful fun doing it. Seeing what patterns. It's just when you start to like something, it makes you kind of scared you're going to ruin it if you go too far. But if I remind myself it's just a first stage, then it's easier to deal with. And I think I'm done. At least until tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to think that that's better than adequate. I think I could fall in love pretty easily with this. I know, I said I was done and then I kept going. But you gotta just listen. I never did put any white in there, but I like the um, the light spots where the Chantilly lace was. So I'm gonna give this a shimmer. Tell you guys I love you. That uh, I need you to watch the videos longer in order to help the algorithm um, be kind to my channel. <sighs> this looks less like the other ones than uh, at least I got my design off-center, which is kind of cool. I want to go turn that other light out. Maybe I will. So I've got 32 playlists with 100 videos on them each. Maybe 33 at this point. Yeah, I'm loving those colors. Color Art, co color art Coupon Code for 20% off Color Art products. Everything at ColorArt.com. 20% off. And lots of times there's better sales than that, and I think there's one going on right now, but I don't think this will be posted in time for you to get to it. But, uh, assumably, happy 2024! And uh, maybe maybe I'll show this sooner than later. I love the ethereal quality that reminds me of so much of watercolor. And this would definitely deserve a gloss finish. I'm so distracted I can't even tell you. My uh, my link tree underneath the video in the description will show you my Amazon link where my two books are because I can in Unlimited Possibilities. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube about paint pouring. I've got one more minute before I have to be gone, but I'm really actually very happy with this. I'm happy that I'm brave enough to put black down and then let it let it be enough. My battery's gonna die too. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links on the link tree. A um, couple of websites. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> my Amazon link, I think I said that. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. You'll see that on the end screens of my video. And I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Springville, Florida. And I'd like to. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you much. You inspire me always. Whatever I've forgotten, you'll see in another video. But generally speaking, it's everything on the link tree and underneath on the spring is uh, everything can be reproduced as a reproduction, duh, or as the merchandise that they sell on those sites. And uh, little increments of it go to me and they help me survive. Thank you for the patronage through Patreon and the donations through PayPal, and especially to the members who are keeping me, <laughs> keeping my channel just alive on YouTube. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow, 2 p.m.